Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome back to another Common Tennis video. This channel is really trying to build an awesome tennis community where people can talk about tennis, talk about what's happening in the tennis world as well as improving their technique. If you want to make sure to not miss any of the videos, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any updates. Alright, so today is actually a super gloomy day out here in Toronto. It's rainy. But I'm going to be cheerful for you guys so that if anybody in Toronto is watching this video, I hope it's going to cheer you guys up as well. We're going to talk about the differences between the first serve and the second serve. So this video was actually suggested by somebody in the previous video. It was suggested by Skincare with Erin and I was featured in one of her videos. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm going to link it down in the description and you guys can click on that link and see that video. So moving on in today's topic, talking about the first serve and second serve. To start us off, we're going to talk about the differences in our goal for our first serve versus the second serve. When you're hitting the first serve, your main goal is to try to win the point with the serve or try to set it up so that you can win off of the next forehand or backhand to hit a winner after the serve. So that's what you're going for with that first serve. So if you goof the first serve, if you mess it up, if you miss and you move on to the second serve, what you're trying to do is really just get the ball in and start the point. Once you're a little bit better, you can start mixing some things up into the second serve to try to give yourself a little bit of an edge there as well, but we're gonna talk about that later. So there's two types of serves that people hit on their first serve, and that's the flat serve and the slice serve. Now, both of these serves are very aggressive, and when you hit them with a lot of power, your margin of error is actually really small, so you have to be very, very practiced and accurate with these shots in order to get them in consistently. Now, the point of the flat serve is to give you as much power as you can on the first serve. So what's happening there is you're actually contacting the ball with the strings flat out, hence the flat serve. So on impact, what's happening is the racket's pronating and generating a ton of power on that shot. Now, going to the second one, which is the slice serve, that one's used to really pull your opponents out wide or if they're kind of sneaking in towards the middle to really get that ace on them by sliding the ball way wide or way up the middle of the court if you're serving on the ad side in order to win some easy points. Now, moving on to the second serve where we said that our goal is to get the ball in. The shot to go with here is usually the top spin serve. Now, the top spin serve gives you a lot more clearance over the net when you're hitting the ball, so it makes it a much safer shot. It's also a little easier to kind of take the power off of that one to keep it consistent and keep it going into the court. Now what's happening on the top spin serve is you're actually brushing the back of the ball and generating all that top spin. So the ball's going this way. It lets you hit the ball a little bit higher over the net because that top spin is going to bring it diving back down into the court and into the service box and keeping that serve consistent. What I'm going to show you guys next is actually we're going to look at some clips of some pro players and how they hit their first serve and their second serve. We're going to talk about what kind of techniques they're using. We're going to take a look at the flat serve, the slice serve, as well as the top spin serve and we're gonna see how the pros are using them. Then after that, I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip of myself and my buddy Andrew, who you've seen in some previous videos, us practicing some serves, and I'm gonna talk about how we emulate what the pros are doing and try to bring that into our practice and try to hit our serves like that as well. All right, guys, so let's jump into the video and the breakdown and comment. The first serve that we're gonna take a look at is the flat serve. And so I picked Nick Kyrgios as the example for this serve because he's known for having an absolutely massive first serve. Lots of speed, lots of power, and that's because he's hitting the flat serve a lot. So this is actually a good clip because it shows uh, a couple of them in a row where he's using them against Dimitrov. And um, what he's doing is he's really flattening out the strings on the impact, and that's what's creating the massive speed. That as well as the rest of his technique, but that's why it's called the flat serve. He's flattening out the strings when he hits, and it's creating a lot of power. So if you guys saw that last point, he really uh, used that first serve to set up an easy forehand like we talked about earlier. And in these next few, you're going to just see absolutely massive power from his serves because he's using the flat serve. That one there was an insane 211 kilometers an hour. Good luck trying to get that one. Now the next serve we're going to take a look at is another technique for the first serve, which is the slice serve. So this was taken, this video was from uh, Cincinnati 2015, where somebody caught some nice footage of Federer practicing his serve. And in this clip, you're just seeing him hitting some slice serves out, bringing his opponent out wide. So using that same technique here, we got a nice slow-mo of Milos Raonic using it in a match against Djokovic. 
So you're going to see him really coming around the outside of the ball, and he's going to try to pull Djokovic out to his right, to Djokovic's right. Um, so his goal here is to either win with the ace so that Djokovic doesn't touch it or to set up an easy point. So there you can see the ball really curving away from Djokovic, making it even tougher to get, and it results in an ace. Finally, we're going to take a look at the second serve technique that we were talking about, which is the kick serve. So here you can see Federer just really casually making that ball really kick up off the ground, bouncing over the shoulder of his opponent. Now I said earlier that we can actually use this to be aggressive, and here you're going to see what Djokovic does with the kick serve. He's actually going to produce so much topspin that it's going to kick out of the opponent's range that where he can even hit it. So there you can see that it's even possible to get an ace with a kick serve as long as you can get that top spin technique down and get some massive spin. So take a look at this replay and you can really see how high the ball is kicking off the ground and gets over top of the man's racket. Can't even hit it. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, footage I got for you of the pros hitting their serves as well as the stuff with Andrew and I hitting our serves. Now I know we're not like the pros, but you guys can leave a comment down below. Let us know how we compare it to the other footage we showed you of the pro players hitting. Try to be nice. Don't flame us too hard. Leave a suggestion down below as well for what else you'd like to see. I'm doing my best to make you guys some awesome videos every week. And if you guys like it, hit that subscribe button and hit a thumbs up if you like this video. And I hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see you next time on Common Tennis. Oh, 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 oh,